Hey guys, it's Ape May Rain. You are looking awesomely beautiful today. Welcome back to another awesome review. Today we are going to be doing rads. Yes, radiators. Any good water cooling system will have some great radiators. XS. PC makes some great radiators. I'm going to show you guys this uh, collection that I have per se. Uh, we have a 120, we have a 140, and we have a 360. And when I say 140, I meant 240. These, these, ma this math gets really confusing. So a 120 radiator will hold one fan. A 240 radiator will hold two fans, and then a 360 radiator. We'll hold three fans. Yes, <laughs> three fans. So look at all my look at all my fans. Okay, so the basic point of these videos that I like to make for you guys, why they're called, just just awesome reviews, is because I like to give you guys the experience of what you guys get when you unbox. So I'm gonna unbox this little guy, which will be a lot of fun. So let's just do that right now, and then I'll show you guys uh, what kind of it is and uh, what exactly radiator is for you guys that don't know. All right, I'm switching you guys over here. Let me actually use the gotta make sure to use my cutting equipment first. There we go, nice. Okay, now we're back, had to do some incisions. Can't, I, it's hard with one hand, this is what's difficult. So here we go, we're just gonna open uh, just, just the 120, which is the smallest one, which is of course the little brother out of these guys. I would call it the Charmander, if you will. <laughs> Only a few of you guys will get that. Okay, here we go. So first thing you'll get is kind of these screws. You'll get uh, four for, the four longer screws, this will go inside your radiator, go through a fan and then into your case. Uh, if that makes any sense, it will once you kind of understand what it's for. And then the littler guys, same kind of same for the same thing if you just want to mount the radiator. So we're gonna uh, get this out. We're actually gonna pull this whole thing over. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and we're gonna take this out. Cool, oh yes. Oh, sorry, I'm putting you down. There we go. All right, so this is kind of what you get. It's on paper. It's kind of wrapped in paper, but all these guys are. I did get the white. The white is definitely the coolest color for a radiator, uh, especially for like white builds. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna be slipping. Let's get this down. There we go. All right, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, get, get out of there. Get out of there. Get, get, get. Ah, yes. Beautiful, beautiful radiators. Of course, you get them. Always just in a pristine condition. Oh, look at that, awesome. Here's where your screw mounts will go, just the forks, that'll be for one. So your fans will go actually right there and they'll screw in from down here. So those long screws will screw in and screw in. So it'll be holding how it goes. So you can either have your fan flipped over, you can have this radiator flipped over, either way. It depends on what kind of build you are making. Here's just that logo. This is engraved in there, so if you're really bugged out about logos, maybe this isn't the right radiator for you. Just checking out the back. Cool, very reinforced steel. This build quality is very well done. Really proud of how, uh, I think Titan Rig is who sent me these, so uh, yeah, not a sponsor. Not They're not paying me to say any of this, but this is these are pretty good rigs. Titan Rig is who ships them. It's just through Amazon is where I got these. Way cool, had to get the white ones because they are definitely the way to go. So this is going to be for the front of my case, this is going to be for the top, and this is potentially going to be for the back. We'll have to see how everything fits. Going back to you guys on the big camera. So basically that was the unboxing, if I can just organize my stuff here. Oh, unboxing is very messy sometimes. So let's just kind of get these kind of lined out as best, as best as we can. There we go. So just picking up. Oh, one of these, it is fairly heavy. These are pretty beefy uh, radiators, but they're not as beefy as they could be. They make another model that is like twice as thick. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description of the models that I actually have right here. But I like them because they are slim. I need some slim radiators and they make uh, the big, the size bigger. So they'll make a, a 280 in the size of, for two fans and then they'll make a 140 for the size of the one fan. So if, if that doesn't make sense, there's a lot of videos out there that explains. I'm basically just making the video of telling you guys what I think about these. These feel great. So basically what water cooling is, is your tubing will go through on one side and then have the fans be cooling these nice, really thin, you can almost see me through those, really thin uh, metal, just, just tiny metal sheets that go back and forth, just really, really thin. And what that does is when the air is going through them, it'll cool them. So water will go through the actual radiator and cool the water and then it'll come out colder than it was going in, which is what's important. So the more 
bigger your radiators are, the more cooling potential the water is going to be when it comes out. So that's what is important because I want to have the coolest system ever. I also have this nifty little guy over here. This is a EK pump. Now what's also really cool about these radiators is they have bracket availability so you can do a few things with them. So let's say you have fans on this backside and you want to have your pump and radiator, uh, your pump and reservoir on the front. So this is where that would go. Really cool, just kind of chills there. Uh, it can go on any of these. So, I mean, if you're gonna be mounting brackets with, with you mounting your reservoirs with your, your, your pumps and stuff, I like the clean look. So I'll have to see how that goes. Maybe I'll do a review on EK stuff later. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm glad I got to just show you guys kind of the unboxing, just kind of showing you guys what you guys get. You get a fair bit of good packaging, so trust the packaging, nothing's gonna get kind of damaged. What I do recommend is definitely going home after you get it, and the first thing you do is running water through it, close both pins, yeah, so put water in it, close both pins, and just kind of shake it around and see if there's any leaks actually throughout the radiator. And I think that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Love making these reviews. Hit that like button if you want to see more kind of stuff like this. I love giving you guys that really comfortable feeling of being here and being able to see what I'm seeing while you're opening something. Because for me, I, I've never seen a video of these before, like people opening them and, and I don't know, like, I just don't know these things. So seeing someone do it, it's like, oh, that's what you're getting. That's what you're expecting. So I want you guys to have that feeling of like feeling less of that unsureness when you order a product. So I'm gonna try and open as many stuff as I can in front of you guys and show you guys that experience just so it is way easier for you guys to understand that uh, it's not scary. Water cooling is very scary, but this kind of stuff, don't worry, it's fine. You can do it, you can do it. I love you guys all so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, yeah, hit that like button if you wanna see more. Comment on stuff I should unbox and do awesome reviews on next. Anyways, stay awesomely beautiful and hope I'll see you once again.